turasoma ijambo ry'Imana We're going to read the word of God Muri Zaburi ya 22 umurongo umlongo wa 19 Psalms 22 verses 19 Haravuga ngo It says Bagabana imyenda yanje They divide my garment and for my clothing they cast lots. Receive the word of God. A garment is something with a meaning. And a garment may be something that signify you or identify you. They are garments we put on all of us generally. But they are garments you find a person is putting on considering the work he does. Or considering what he is. God needs that. You get a revelation about a garment. There is a garment. There is a garment of doctors. Depending on the departments they have, they have different garments. They are garments of the students. Because of the schools they study. Or maybe the level of education they are at. They are garments of the people who have accomplished When a person completes studies they put on him a garment. When you look at him you immediately identify that he has accomplished his studies. They are garments of the army. Paul spoke about them. In Ephesians chapter 6 verses 10, From verses 12 It says Because we don't wrestle with what we brought and fresh On verse 10 he says Remain strong in the Lord In his great power of great authority Hallelujah Hallelujah Put on the garments they are garments God needs you to put on Paul told the people to put on the garments of the army in the spiritual way we are the soldiers of Christ he looked at them he told them to always put of the army. He told them to put on a heart. He told them to put themselves a cloth. He told them to put on a belt. He told them to put on the shoes. He told them you should put them on. I'm not going to explain them because of the Because whatever he told them to put what I want to challenge the people who are putting on the garments God never prepared for them the word says in Joshua Joshua chapter 5 verses 9 God sent Joshua oh hallelujah hallelujah he told his brothers and sisters that today God is going to remove the disgrace The other one which was put on you when you were in They are people who are having the garment of disgrace The garment you are putting on may make people accept you or not That time the Israelites were putting on the garment of disgrace Which was they are people who go and they have some garment demons put on them they were having the spirit of disgrace when you have such a spirit of disgrace whoever looks at you has to despise you sometimes you pass in a village where a dog cannot back it back 
at you when you have the spirit of this grace even the house by the house made has to despise you you may ask yourself why people despise you there is a garment on you there is a mask Jesus has to remove God told Joshua that you go and tell them that today this A gentleman who looks at you, you look at the furniture. They are people who have a garment of adultery. Because of what reason? Because of what reason? Why everyone looks at you and sees you in adultery? What reason? Whoever looks at you has to see this grace with you. Because there is a garment which is on you in the spiritual way. There are people who have a garment of being made Lord. But my was having a garment. And whoever would pass by him, whoever gave him money would put in that garment. Whoever would give him food, he would put in the other garment. You can ask yourself a court with food. Whoever gives him a tomato he puts in the court. You also see that the other court was very dirty. The other court was very dirty. The other court was not pleasing at all. But he saw he had Jesus was passing he had taken long when he was he was putting on this garment he looked at him he heard of a man who can never be he heard of a man who can never be he heard of a man who speaks and can't he heard of a man who speaks and can't He never went to keep it anymore. He was putting it on. He removed it and threw it away. And when he ran away, he ran after Jesus. He told him that Jesus, you serve me. In other words, he had laid it aside. You yourself. It is not me. It is not Jesus. You yourself, you have to make a decision. You should lay aside something and throw it away. You should lay aside something. Because where you are going in the place is There is something you have been putting on for long. When I invite you in a ceremony, you sit behind. When I call you for an interview, you cannot reach where other people reach. You are always feeling that there is some garment I have. When other people are moving up for you, you move down. Because there is a garment you are always putting on, you also feel it. You have to change your mind. If you say I lay it aside in the name of Jesus, you yourself tell the demons that I'm a special person. 
That these months have come, the other disease is going to be tough. If you have accepted it, that it is yours, it is yours. But you should lay aside that disease in the name of Jesus. You should lay aside it in the name of Jesus. You should lay it aside in the name of Jesus. No, there are things which have been usual. There are things you have seen for long in your life. There are things people are used to doing upon your life. You, have, you should announce in the name of Jesus. I There is a word which always moves me. It is in Esther chapter 9 verse 1. That word says that. That time. The enemies of the Jews. They knew they would overpower them. But things changed. Other things changed. And the Jews. God has given you to the power what was on you. God has given, God has given you authority upon the things which have made you fair. But I feel there are garments which are going to lose very But Maya removed it before he met Jesus. It may be a garment of sin. The other sin you practice every day. The other sin you walk in every day. Don't say I'll be saved tomorrow. Do it today in the name of Jesus. The word says in Hebrew. Chapter 12 verse 1. That then. We as we are surrounded. With a cloud of witnesses. Who Can we give glory to Jesus? No, it is not Jesus who made him put it off. But for him, he had a man passing by him. They told him this man had God kindness. They told him yesterday he rose the people who are dead. They told him this man gives hope. No one told him to remove the cord he was putting on. His faith made him put off the cord and he put away. Your faith should make you leave some things aside. That he laid aside the cord. He laid aside the cord. He laid aside the cord. The time 
time has come. Yes, Jesus is coming back. To take his charge. Yes, Jesus is coming. Those who backslid you return. Those who fell you should rise. The time has come. So that you should put aside that cause. Even he will make them pass. 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 That he lay aside every heavy thing. Because God is the only God. He has a word of saying you never reach where. Because he's the one who is the last one. They have no harm to you. They are people who come to the church to find their But they are people who are receiving, receiving, receiving. If you are receiving, you can appeal for the Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Nimba ufashirwe n'inyigisho kanda uhasi kuri subscribe uje ugezwa ho ijambo rya buri munsi na Prophet Crowd Ukine kuka ukine kuba ubuzima ufite ikerekezo ukine kumenya icyo imana ikuvugaho ushobora kubana na Prophet Crowd mu materaniro abera kuri Soul Hearing Revival Church ku cyumweru gwera ku isaha isabiri n'igice kugera isaha sita kuwa kabiri gwera ku isaha yisambiri kugera isaha 11 z'umugoroba ndetse no kuwa kane gwera ku isaha yisakenda z'umugoroba kugera isaha moya n'igice ukene bindi bisomanuro waduhamagara kuri 0418 Mirongo tatu na rimwe mirongo itanu na kabiri cumi na rimwe gwino uhabwe imigisha ari nako wakira kubohoka utibagiwe kandi no kumenya icyo imana igushaka